Oh, boy. No, we need music in here. How about some Christmas music to really get this party going? Right, hold on. Matt, you should get decorations hold on, from upstairs. Hold on a minute. What? Vanessa, you didn't answer my question about this baby. Mother, you know what? He's right. We did hear something about a baby when you came in. I mean, what were you guys talking about? Well, I was talking with Matt about how happy the two of you seem recently and uh, how glad I am of that and how different things would have turned out had you stayed with Cassie and Cassie had gotten pregnant with your baby. <laughs> that's all? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Well, there you go, huh? You know what? We, we should get the tree out of the car before it gets rooted in there, huh? Well, you know what, Matt? You haven't said much about this. Merry Christmas. You know what? This is just really frustrating. We came over here to bring you a tree, and I, and I gotta tell you something. I'm really happy for the first time since the fire. I'm, I'm happy, and I was in the Christmas spirit, and I wanted to just come over here and spread it all around and have fun. Well, that's wonderful. Let's, yeah, but let's I know. do it. I know, but everything's getting all turned around oh, now because of some stupid about misunderstanding just, when just we came in the door. Everybody start over again, right? Okay, let's do that. Right let's just start over again. I want this to be the best Christmas that we've ever had. I do, too. You know, for everybody. Uh, we've... I have a wonderful husband, and I have a beautiful home, and I just can't think of anything else I would ask Santa for, right? Okay, so. I'm glad. I am very happy. But I have this feeling that I walked in on something that I wasn't supposed to hear. Matt, I mean, we're friends, right? We work together. I trust you. Now, am I wrong, or is something going on here? Matt. Why don't you just confirm what my mother said, and let's get this over with. Is the baby mine? You heard Vanessa. I want to hear it from you. I can't do this. You had it right, Hart. Kid's yours. I know you think you're acting out of love to protect your daughter, but this is wrong, Vanessa. I should have told you a long time ago. You knew? You knew it? You knew it? Everyone knew this? Everyone, everyone no. kept this big secret from me? Wait a second. Now, I just found out about this. You just found out about yes, this? Yes, I did. I just, I, I just found out from my mother. Mother, uh, I, you don't know how badly I wanted to tell you, but she said that I couldn't because Cassie swore her to secrecy. I bumped into Cassie in the park, and she confided in me, and she didn't want anybody to know. You're lying. To me, Vanessa, you're lying. I could, I could see it in your eyes. I could see it in your eyes. I can hear it in your voice. You knew all along. No, I just told you You knew that I... all along, Dinah. Hey. Hey. I'm here. I'm right here. Bud, you're going to be OK. I'm sorry, Reva. Sorry. What are you sorry for? You just have to get better, you know, because it's almost Christmas. You realize that, don't you? Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to buy a big old tree, and, and we're all going to decorate it, you, me, and the kids. And if you think you're getting out of wrapping presents this year, you're wrong, because I need your help. OK. I love you. I love you so much. And I'm going to find a way to put a stop to this. I am. Reba. Frank, just a few more minutes, please. Please let us handle this. I have to go, OK? But I'll be back. I promise you I'll be back.
What did you do to him? I'll need more time with Josh before I can give you any specifics. Well, then be unspecific, okay? We know that there are certain things which are triggering these episodes. I suppose you think it's up to me, too, huh? That it's my fault? I don't know what to think. But we're going to get to the bottom of this. You have my word. You ready to go back to the station? You know, I got a couple of things I got to take care of, so I'll catch up with you later, okay? Bye. All right, I'll see you. Oh. Reba, can I walk you out? I can walk out on my own just fine, Frank, thanks. Just do me a favor and don't push yourself back in there. <laughs> and what if I do? He will arrest you. Boy. She's really got you, doesn't she, Frank? It's a final warning to stay out, please. Reva Shane, that certainly sounds official. Cassie? It's me. Oh, God, sis. I'm so glad to hear from you. I really am. I miss you so much. Me too. Me too. So where are you? Where, where, where can I reach you? Yeah, I just had this feeling that I should call. Reva, you sound terrible. What's wrong? Everything. I really needed to talk to you, Cassie, and I need you to tell me the truth. About what? Did Joshua come on to you? Look, Reva, I love you, but I don't think we need to get into this again. It's... It's because Terry DeMarco is claiming that he was chasing after her, too. I'm sorry, Reva. I am so sorry. But you're not surprised. Cassie, I need you to be honest with me. Did Joshua try to kiss you? Look, I already told you everything. You said you made it up. But were you just trying to protect me, protect our marriage? Uh, ju just a minute, just, just a minute. Um, Reva, I, I gotta go. Um, somebody wants to use telephone. Wait, Cassie, give me a number where I can reach you. I love you, and I will call you back, okay? Oh, I did the right thing. I definitely did the right thing. If I would have told her the truth, it would only made matters worse. Is there some place we can talk? Oh, sure. Come on. Detective Cooper wanted me to check on Mr. Lewis. Hey, you're the detective. Thank you. Josh? I hope you know that we want to help you. I don't think you want to help me. Oh, of course we do. You made them believe that I was trying to attack you. Okay, I don't think we should talk about that right now, Josh, especially when you're still delusional. I'm confused about a lot of things, but you're not one of them. Do you care to explain that? You twisted everything around. You tried to blame Reva. Reva loves me. She loves me. Of course she does. I couldn't believe any different because of what you say. I know she loves you, Josh. And I would never try to convince you otherwise. That's why this is all so sad. Sad? Reva hurt you, Josh. She didn't want to, but she did. Even she realizes that now. What are you talking about? It is becoming increasingly clear to all of us that you have a lot of repressed feelings about Annie Dutton. Josh, you were married to her. You loved her once, and, and Reva can't quit trashing her. And every time she does that, it's just... Her obsession with Annie is taking its toll on you. You know for a time... I thought you were Annie. 